Hello, it's Mike Pinto, the principal of James Cole Elementary School. How are you? I am sitting outside. It is a gorgeous day out here, and um, I really want to touch base with you about how things are looking as you go as we go to open school next Thursday. I just sent out the uh, back to school coal courier. I will be very honest with you. It is. Uh, a terribly large amount of information and I apologize for that um, you, you know when you communicate you need to communicate with brevity and you need to communicate with things that are uh, uh, information that's um, easy to get to I have tried really hard to put everything in one spot so just know that that's out here um, in your email inbox I also posted it on the Facebook page but I want to kind of touch base with you about how things are looking, what we're doing in the school, kind of kind of do an update and let you know. Um, I'm gonna I'm sitting here under the tree um, by the side of the school, and I'm looking at I'm gonna I'm gonna you're gonna lose my face here. I know you're sad about that. I want you to look at my shirt. It says "Got Pie," um, but I'm gonna flip the phone over. Um, we're at outside at the uh, Ball Diamonds, and um, I. Wanted to, you to know that one of the things we've talked about from the very beginning is that we're in this together and the ball diamonds are empty right now because um, that is obviously something that, um, you know, there, there's no practice right now. But if you are a sports fan and you follow Big Ten football, you realize that they just postponed the season. And so we had to postpone the season here in summer wreck because of COVID-19 and we're doing a really good job of doing fall ball, but uh, I'm going to flip back over so you can see me. Um, but but I will tell you, um, you know, one of the things that I'm really happy to see is that we're taking this seriously, that we are um, also doing what we're supposed to do after school as well. So coaches, I talked to um, to the, the one of the coordinators and he said that you're, they're disinfecting the, the catcher's equipment. Um, I haven't been here for a game, but I sure hope that as parents, you guys are social distancing and, and not sitting all together and clustered and kids are spread out as well. Coaches, if you're uh, close, you know, you're wearing a mask and protective pieces because we're trying really hard to make sure that you are safe. And I was really very happy that um, the summer rec said that they're going to do the same thing. So that's a positive because we are going to do a lot of effort to keep things safe, but we can't do that if we um, then have kids come home and then we shake them up in a bag again and, and, and uh, don't have um, everything the same way. So I want to talk about some of this because I'm going to walk around while I talk because that just makes a lot more sense to me. Uh, first of all, it's after four and there's a car and there's a car and there's a car and on the other side of the building there are cars so we're going to walk around um but uh teachers are here and they're also at home and they're working to get ready this is the most bizarre year we've um i've ever experienced in the in my career as an educator i think that some of the veteran teachers who are listening to this probably would say the same thing we've never had something like this we have right now um, at Cole uh, two, uh, a kindergarten and first grade hybrid class, which means the teacher will be teaching um, uh, Mrs. Berger, a new kindergarten teacher, will teach some students in the classroom and some virtually. Mrs. Rock, first grade, will teach some students virtually and some students in class. Second grade, we have some students that are virtual who are going to be taught by teachers in another school and then third grade everyone's coming fourth grade and fifth grade we have teachers from other schools teaching a few kids who are going virtual so that's different okay but most of the kids are coming back to school next thursday and when they do there's going to be a couple changes so let's kind of, let's let's talk about those changes the first change is um this is where the buses drop off. We pull over here. I'm gonna ask your help here, moms and dads. This is really important to me. Do you see these lines right here in the parking lot? That means that's not a parking spot. It's also not something that we drive on. Used to be grass here at one point. We paved over it, but we can't have people driving through. So the buses usually pull up 
right over here and they block these exits. So in the morning, the buses will park right here. Your child will come off the bus like this, all right? If they are a first grader, they will walk to the sidewalk or a kindergartner and they will walk down this sidewalk. And we're not gonna do the whole thing because it will take too long. We're gonna turn by the basketball hoop, go around, and we're gonna enter into room five, or door six, excuse me. If you are a second or third grader, you are going to come and you're going to um, walk in the, the main doors. Gonna go to class. If you're a fourth or fifth grader, you're gonna come, walk to the um, sidewalk, and you're gonna walk around the sidewalk we're going to have cones or barricades so people can't get back there and walk around the blacktop over. Now, I'm telling the kids, if you want to cut across the grass, go for it. Moms and dads, if it's raining and mucky, I'm not going to let them because obviously I don't want you guys to ruin shoes. But we're going to walk this way and walk around the building. So that's, that's the morning, okay? But what if I bring my child to school? Because some people do that. I'm asking you to do, you park your car, just like this car is parked, you get out, you walk with your child, and you walk over to the sidewalk right here, and you say your goodbyes. Usually, I'm out front or somebody else is, I'll be in a mask, we'll be good. And you say your goodbyes. You do not, I do not want you to walk the kids down the sidewalk and around. Right here is where you say goodbye. Second, third graders in this way. Fourth and fifth graders this way. Fourth and fifth graders will not want their parents anywhere near them. Don't take it personally. It's just who they are, okay? So that's in the morning. In the afternoon, we will dismiss the same way. We will have students in kindergarten, first grade, walk with by their teacher and... They will come this way. Fourth and fifth grade will come with their teachers around. And second and third will come with their teachers out here. And they'll be dismissed. Let me tell you one more thing about the morning. Don't worry. We will have on the first day, the teachers will be out here. They will have signs that say their teacher's name. And the kids will go to their, to their teacher. We will spread out so that we're not all together. We will be in a mask. But we will have a situation where we will have... We will make sure your child knows where she or he is going. And so I'm here for the kindergarten first to make sure that they can get in safely, okay? So we've got that covered for you. Don't worry about that. Now, parent pickup is going to look a whole lot different. We can't let you in the building. And probably, let's truth be told, that the days of that are probably over for a variety of reasons. But here's what we're going to do. It's in the cold curb, and I'm going to explain it to you. You're going to sit in your car this bell ring at 320 it's a loud bell you can hear it jessica dunham could hear it in her at her house and vicky morris in stockwell it goes off at 320 and mrs galvin or i will do fast announcements we are going to have we're not going to announce parent pickup and that stuff anymore we're going to call the the classrooms ahead of time and then we're going to dismiss as soon as we can after 320 and the students will I'm gonna walk in the building, but I gotta put my mask on, so be patient with me, okay? I'm gonna put the phone down while I put my mask on, just a second. Okay, we're gonna walk in the door, or, or so, okay? The kids are gonna come down and they're gonna wait in the lobby. And when we we will have someone, an adult will be standing here at the uh, at the door and they'll say, Rowan Eaton, and Rowan Eaton will, will come out the doors and go to his mom. And the next person, same thing. So we will do the, the transfer um, right here in the vestibule. Now, I'm gonna flip this back around. I have my mask on because the rule is movement means mask. If you are in the building and you're moving around, boys and girls, you're wearing a mask. Every teacher, every staff member, everybody. So 
you're going to see me in a mask a lot because I move around a lot, but that's just the, the rule. Now, let's talk about what the cafeteria looks like. We have two cafeterias. We have a temporary cafeteria right here in the lobby. This will be put up and taken down every day. We have kids spraced apart. They will each have an assigned seat, all right? So this allows us to have our third, our fourth, and our fifth graders outside uh, in, the, in here. Mrs. Southern will put this up in the morning and when lunch is over, she'll take it down so that when we dismiss, we won't have this in the way. Same thing in the morning, it won't be up. It doesn't take us very long, we have a nice pattern. Kindergarten first and second, you're going to come in through the cafeteria. And again, we have seats numbered and we have spots where kids can eat breakfast or, and lunch here. Now, the kids first, and then they will be called up and they'll go through the line. Now, you're gonna notice we have social distance spots. We're not gonna have 15 kids in line or 30 or 50. We're gonna have kids uh, in small numbers. And let me mess with my key here. Lunch is going to look a little different as well. So they're going to go in. Let me turn on the lights here real quick. Okay. So they're going to come in. It's their turn. The milk cooler is going to be empty. They're going to grab a, um, they're going to grab a, uh, either a hot or a cold lunch. It's going to be already packaged for them. We're going to have an ID badge. And they're going to get scanned right here and walk out the door. So, um, that's kind of nice because they are, um, it, it, it's really nice for them. And then they're going to go sit down and then we will dismiss as well. Now recess. So we're going to sit together in assigned seats by class and, and we're going to do activities by class. And then we're going to go to recess in zones by class. So there are four zones in the intermediate and six zones and five zones in the primary those zones will be rotating now i'm going to kind of a terrible picture but i'm going to show you kind of an overview so if you look at james cole we have four zones we have a, a little grassy area the kids play football and tag and all that stuff we have the playground we have the the um, ball field and we have the blacktop on the intermediate and in the primary we have the area by the basketball hoops that has one of those uh, fun little things you shoot the ball and it comes out one of the holes. Half of the uh, playground is divided into two different zones. Then there's a zone that is the playground itself and a zone that is the grassy area that kids like to go out and play in. We're gonna rotate that and we're gonna have cones and we're gonna be able to do that so that we uh, give kids a chance to um, to see, uh, to, to play, but to, to also get to play in different different locations. So we're gonna walk down the hallway because I wanna see what's out here. Um, again, it's dark in the hallways. It's dark, we're gonna, oh, it looks like fourth grade's here. So we'll just say hi, Mrs. Berger. Hi. You're on Facebook Live. She's excited, about, you know, because everyone wants to be on Facebook Live. And um, Mrs. Ms. Holden is here as well. We'll pop into Miss Holden's room. So. Um, so I'm going to go down, uh, this way, sorry, I'm going to turn around to a classroom. I want to show you some things that have been, uh, uh, made available for you, for, um, your child, for you, uh, as well. So just hang with me. I know nothing like watching me and go to a third grade classroom because I think everything's kind of still together there. All right. I see that founding mother Vicki Kelly is watching on Facebook Live. Vicki Kelly, hello, Vicki Kelly. We are glad you're here uh, joining us. And just know, Vicki, um, we love you. And every day we're glad you open this beautiful school because it's amazing. So thanks for joining us in sunny Florida. All right, we're going to walk into Mrs. DeFries's room. And I wanna show you kind of what's prepared for the, the kids. We're, we're moving desks around. We're gonna get some bearers up for kids. 
But first of all, um, the Spirit Wear, Spirit Wear sales came in today, so they're available for you. Second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, we have study buddies for you. They're all ready to go. They look like they always do. They're four dollars. We need you to bring your four dollars. Uh, if you could send exact change, we cannot make change. So if you will help us with that uh, in the first weeks of school, that would be great. The classrooms have their supplies. We also have um, water that's been donated for, from the um, Stockwell, or excuse me, the Clarks Hill Christian Church. These are the donated from TSC supply kits. So if you look, you will see inside, this is all for your child. Uh, compliments of the Tipton School Corporation this year. Uh, I believe that they allocated funds uh, whether through, through a grant, I believe, to make this happen. And your child will also have his or her own um, headphones. And so again, those are yours, and then you get one set. Sometimes kids like to gnaw on them like they're a dog with a bone. And so if they do that and they break them, then you're going to have to replace them. But as a whole, we can do that. And then we also have, um, teachers have, if your child forgets a, a face mask, we have some face masks that have been provided as well. So we're trying really hard to make things ready to go. Now, um, a couple things, just an FYI for you. We are really working hard to, um, to keep children um, separated by classroom so that we can contact trace. And what that means is if we have a situation where a child um, may be in contact, the health department will talk to us. And then we will, uh, obviously the parents will be contacted and then we will say, okay, it looks like they were sitting near these people. And if they were exposed for a certain amount of time, they may ask you to quarantine or isolate, but that's gonna come from the health operation as well. Uh, so information will come about that, but there's information in, there's Mrs. Mrs. You know, Mrs. Gardner's mom went really well from the sheep barn. So Mrs. Gardner's here. And let me who else is here because Mrs. Curtis, so we're going to do that as well. I'm going to flip this back around. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to uh, do our best to keep everyone safe and to keep the kids in groups together so that if there is exposure, we can minimize to do. And um, that's like the Laramie Summer Rec. You guys are showing the same thing. You're modeling it. You know, I know the football seasons have gotten... Uh, canceled. It takes all of us to do this. You know, we've got to get to a point where we can get back to a different spot. And by working together, we can do this. Gorgeous lobby on, on earth. I'm going to tell you why it's gorgeous. So I'm going to sit my big body down right here and we're just going to chat. Um, here's what I do know, Bob's and dads. I do know that um, there's been an amazing faith that you have, I'm going to take this off so you can hear me. Nobody's around. Don't tell anybody I'm breaking the rules. Um, amazing faith you've, you've put in our school. The people have offered help in amazing ways. And I can't thank you enough. As a community, you guys have been fantastic. I just spoke to the PTO today. They're going to do some nice things for our teachers. Um, next week, we come back. But we've had such generosity. And I, I, I can't thank you enough. When the Clarksdale Christian Church showed up last week with a pallet of water bottles, a pallet, 82 water bottles, uh, uh, cases. If Mrs. DeFreeze has a child who forgot their water bottle, we're just going to hand it to them. We're, gonna, we're solving the problem. We're not, we're not messing around in this community. We're just taking care of business, and I appreciate that. Clark's Hill Christian Church, uh, amazing. Stockley and I Methodist Church, you came through with an amazing amount of face masks. We, there will never be a child in this school that won't have a face mask because they lost it or they got dirty or whatever. Now, speaking of face masks, we've got to do our part as well. We have to make sure, hey, Marty Wise says, hi, hi, Marty, how are you? Um, we have to do as well. You wouldn't send your kid to school 
in the same genes for an entire week, right? That would be gross. So the same hygiene that goes into your clothes needs to go into your masks. So I'm hoping that by now you're gathering masks and you're thinking, I gotta clean them, I gotta wash them. And think about all the air and stuff you're breathing in and out all the time. We gotta keep those clean. So again, everything we can do together to make this work, we need to do. What am I missing? Tomorrow, the, uh, we have the best instructional assistants on the planet at James Cole Elementary School. I know I, poor Vicki Morris, she's getting phone calls from me all the time about do, what's this, what to do about that, how do you do this, how do you do that, and they have been so helpful. We're going to meet tomorrow, and then the teachers come uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week, and here's what we're going to do, and we're going to do a lot of training, and we're going to do some training on virtual because we will have our first virtual day on Wednesday, August 26th, your child will not come to school that day. They will be taught virtually. And if you signed up for an iPad or a Chromebook, it comes home with you. Guess what? It goes home Tuesday night. It comes back Thursday morning. All right. We're not doing this. I'm holding the Chromebook hostage stuff because we need it. All right. So just know when it goes home, it comes back. Otherwise, you're handicapping your child at school the next day. The following Friday, right before Labor Day, we are going to do another virtual day. And what this is going to do is we got, we did the best we could with what we had, where we were in March. But guess what? There's not an excuse now. We know if we have to go virtual again, if things change and we have to do that for safety reasons. And again, that is a decision made by people a whole lot smarter and more important than Mr. Pinto and and uh, you know, even the local school boards, that's a governor decision oftentimes and often uh, a, you know, a local health department. But if we have to do that again, we're gonna do it. And we're gonna do a great job with it. The teachers are ready to go. They are working hard to, to get to a point where they can interact with you. We had a meeting today with the teachers and I had, my little, I had a, a, a blue, Bluetooth in my ear and I was talking and I was, you know, we're trying to figure out ways we can interact with you in a better way. And then September 21st, we will do one more practice virtual day where it's really not a practice, it's really a virtual day, but for the teachers and the teachers that day will not be at school, they will be at home so they can work out the kinks as well. We will be prepared if this happens again. And because our goal is we help students learn, we grow kind citizens, we keep children safe. Right now, we're spending a whole lot of time on keeping children safe, and that's okay. That's, our, that's part of our mission. But we want to also help students learn, and we also want to grow kind citizens, and that's where I need your help. The kindergarten kickoff last Wednesday was out of this world amazing. Most every parent came with a child. The few who couldn't were on vacation. We got to do a fun little thing with Mr. Pinto, uh, do a social distance hello. We got to meet the counselor, got to meet the teachers, get our pictures taken. We got to play on the playground, which was fantastic. Then go see Miss Leslie on the school bus, and she had cotton candy. And then we got to go to the most beautiful outdoor education center on earth. It is looking amazing. But you know what I learned on that at that kindergarten um, kickoff? I learned that, as I do often, we can learn from the kids. Those children never took the mask off unless they were asked to. They didn't fight it. They didn't fidget. They did, they did what they were told. I was amazed. And you know what I learned? I said, sometimes I think adults have a harder time with this than, than the kids do. And so we will have opportunities for us to be socially distanced in the classroom and have mask breaks. We, we, we have to give ourselves mask breaks. Mask fatigue is a real thing. I, you know, I've been talking with Dr. Huffer and his wife, Dr. Huffer, uh, all, all spring and all summer. And one of the things they said to me is, Mike, we've got to, you got to give mask fatigue uh, a, a, a real thing. <clears throat> and so, you know, we, we, we're taking that into account. The other thing I'm doing is I'm working on my mask stamina. I'm putting my mask on and, and keeping it on because I've got to get used to it. So again, whatever you can do to do. I'm going to shut up here real quick, but we're almost done. A couple things you can do right now. Number one, PTO has a Facebook page. Uh, if you are not a Facebook follower uh, of PTO, please do. 
We have a brand new set of officers. The officers that, that left us, um, they just did an amazing job. We are financially set. We can withstand this pandemic this entire year and be okay. And that is a credit to Jasmine Reed, Krista Cass, Emily Flynn, and Paula Holmes last year. We have a brand new set of officers, uh, Jackie Jansing, uh, Rachel Vaughn, um, Megan Gordon, and uh, Wendy Benner, and they are doing an amazing job. Wendy Benner is like a dog with a bone on Facebook, okay? So get on James Cole PTO and follow it because there's gonna be opportunities for you to, to, to kind of keep up to date with PTO. We're not doing a fundraiser at the start of the year. We're not doing uh, cookie dough sales. I can't let you in the building. I can't have pickup pick up for that. And honestly, how many of you moms and dads have been trying to just scrape by during this pandemic anyway? The last thing you need is your handout. So we, we're trying to help with that. <clears throat> um, we will not do a Veterans Day program with people in here for a couple of reasons. Number one, we may not be allowed to have guests in the building. And number two, we don't want to put our, uh, especially if they're um, elderly, our, our elderly in a, in a bad spot where they're all together. And we probably really shouldn't be sitting together anyway in that many kids. So we'll do something. Mrs. Avery and will do something when we fly it out. So those are changes. What else happens after the first nine weeks? We don't know. But we were, we're going to do our virtual PTO meetings. So this is the easiest thing I've ever done. You can literally, uh, it, the, the, um, the links are on the cold courier that I just put out. And it's on, the, it's on the Facebook page too, so anybody can join. You can join the Zoom meeting and participate in the PTO meeting and never leave your house. I participated in one the other day and I was in the bedroom and my wife was, um, was in, the, uh, in the front room and when it was all said and done, I texted her, said, I'm coming home and walked out of the hallway and down and, and she's like, what do you mean? I go, I was right there. But you can participate and not have, you know, the excuse of I can't get there because I'm waiting for my kid at Ball Diamond, jump on your phone and, and be, be part of the Facebook page and our Facebook page, the PTO meeting and, and, and learn from there. So that's good. Um, we're here. We're very organized here. Mrs. Hatke has uh, things organized in the office and we are ready to go. We are going to be calling the virtual parents um, to come pick up supplies probably on Tuesday. So if your child's virtual, you will get school supplies just like every child who's coming to school will get. You uh, will also, if you chose to get a Chromebook or an iPad when you registered, we will give it to you then. We're still waiting on some cases and some um, power cords and we will also, um, any other supplies we need to give you, we'll give it to you then, and then you'll have it ready to go. So we're, we're good on that front. And then next Thursday, the fun begins. This is what we do. Uh, there's a, a beautiful little girl that is a kindergartner named Nora Gamble that came here with her mom to drop some stuff off the other day. And she was like, Mr. Pico! She was so excited to be here. Had her mask on and did everything. And you know what? Made me feel good because it made me realize that this is what we do and this is who we are. So um, this is really long, and but I hope it was informative. I hope you have some answers. Um, I am Mike Pinto, and I am the principal of James Cole Elementary School, and I am proud to be the principal. And I'm here if you have a question or a concern, um, ask, call, email, message me on Facebook, whatever it takes, I will answer. I would rather have a question that I don't know and find the answer um, than be stumped on by it when 270 cold cubs come on Thursday. So if you have a question, ask. I will do my best to answer it. If I don't know, I'll follow up with you. I promise you, that is my commitment to you. Um, I cannot thank you enough for the support and the trust you've given us uh, as a school. <clears throat> when we have asked, you have delivered, and that's gonna happen again next week. Um, help us with these procedures. Moms and dads, the kids are easy. Sometimes the moms and dads are the hardest. Be nice in the parking lot. Don't, don't try to cut corners. Park, walk your kid in uh, to the sidewalk, say goodbye. Um, uh, also the same thing at the parent pickup, just wait. We can't let you in the building. It's not that we don't love you, we do. But you know what? We're gonna do what we, we need to be safe. But also know that 
Um, we're here to educate your child. We're gonna do the best we can. Because what's forgotten in this whole thing is we still gotta teach kids and kids still have to learn, but we also have to raise kind citizens. And so right now, more than ever, we need to be tolerant of each other. We need to have a, a bigger set of patience. And we also need to understand that the only way we're gonna do this is do this together. And so that makes me feel hopeful because what I've seen so far has been amazing. Uh, once again, I am very proud to be the principal of James Cole Elementary School, and I am very proud of the staff that is surrounding me. We are at a point now where they're starting to get butterflies because they're, they've got things to do and they're running out of time, um, and I understand that. But we'll be together, we'll be ready for your child, we'll be ready for you, and my sadness is I've been wearing shorts all summer and I, gotta, I, I can't wear shorts. Uh, you know, soon. So that's a bummer. But um, anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you for indulging me. I hope you feel more informed. The newsletter has lots of information. And, and at the very, you think you're at the bottom and, and there'll be a little button that says view entire message. Click it because there's more. I will tell you it's too long, but it's all right there. Miss Holden's our webmaster. She will put the, um, she will put the Cole Kerr on the, on the web on the web page, and um, she will. Um, so it'll be available for you to look at as well. But we are here for you, and we're excited to open school. And if there's something we can do to help you, ask. Uh, start school Thursday, August 20th. I think we're having. It was supposed to be hot dogs, but because we moved the date back, I think it's chicken rings. So again, to go. The, there's a link to the menu. The menu's on the web page. You know, again, you can bring your lunch or you could buy your lunch. But you know, again, this is what we do. This is who we are. And we are ready for you. Um, we're going to make some mistakes, but we're going to do this together. So thank you very much. Um, it's probably time for me to try to figure out how to get this on YouTube so I can f fly it out to everybody who missed it. But uh, other than that, uh, thank you for also modeling safety at home and taking this seriously and for honestly i've had not a single complaint not a one complaint since march everyone wants to be helpful and i, and I, I can't thank you enough for that so um anyway one more scan of our gorgeous lobby because look at it it's beautiful it looking good you know they even cleaned up they cleaned all the rafters in march and they cleaned all the all the sound barriers. Here's the coal cub that was out there. Um, and our library is looking amazing. We have a gorgeous school and I am proud to be your principal. And thank you very much for coming. My shirt says got pie. I wish I had a pie right now. Other than that, um, thank you very much. And we'll see you all on Thursday, August 20th.